All right, all praises to the Most High. Here's a prayer for the church against the enemies of the church, the assembly, right, of the children of the Most High. It says, have mercy upon us, O Most High Power, Yah of all, and behold us, see us, and sin, call your fear upon all the nations, the people that seek not after you, Most High of all. Lift up your hand, your power, against or upon the strange nations, strange people that worship other gods, and let them see your power, your strength, your hand, as you was sanctified in us before them. So be thou magnified, be you magnified among them before us. And let them know, let them know you, as we have known you, Most High, that there is no power, no Yah, Elohim, but only you, O Elohim, Most High. All right? Oh, None oh. like you. Six, show new signs and make other strange wonders, miracles. Glorify your hand, your power, and your right arm that they might, may set out your wondrous works. Raise up indignation, wrath, and pour out anger, wrath. Take away the adversary, Hasatan, and destroy the enemy, all right, Amalek, Edom, all the nations that don't worship the Most High, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Make the time short. Remember the agreement and let them declare your wonderful works. All right. And um, make the time short. All right. So I'm going to go to um, First Ezra. I think that's what I want. Yeah. Okay. I'll read. And fourth extra Ezra. Um, I think fourteen. Let me see. 13. Ezra says, He answered me and said, I went into a forest, into a plain, and the trees took counsel. The trees took advice and said, Come, let us go and make war against the sea, that it may depart, be removed away before us, and that we may take us more woods. The floods of the sea also in the same manner took counsel, took um, advice, and said, Come, let us go up and subdue the woods of the plain, that there also we may make us another country. The thought or the mindset of the wood was in vain, it was useless, for the fire came and consumed it. The thought or the mindset of the floods of the sea came likewise the same way to nothing it was vain useless for the sand stood up and stopped them if you were judged now between these two whom would you begin to make right Ezra or whom would you condemn and Ezra answered and said truly it is a foolish thought or mindset that they both have planned for the ground is given unto the wood, and the sea also have his place to bear 
his floods or waves. So again, it says, for the land is given unto the wood, and the sea also have his place to bear to keep his floods or waves. It's just like the body. Everybody has a position, right? Stay in your place. 20. Then answered he me and said, You have given a right judgment, but well, why judges not thyself also? For like as the ground is given unto the wood, or the land is given unto the wood, and the sea to his floods or waves, even so they that live upon the earth may understand nothing. All right? And you can look up Isaiah 55, verse 8, uh, 9. But then you can go to John uh, chapter 3, verse 31. It's 1 Corinthians 2, verse 13. All right. They that dwell upon the earth, the land, may understand nothing. But that which is upon the earth... And he that liveth above the heavens may only understand the things that are above the height of the heavens. Then answered I and said, I ask you, O Most High, let me have understanding. For it was not my mind to be curious of the high things, but of such as pass by us daily, currently. Namely, whereof is why is Israel given up as reproach? to the heathen and for what reason the people whom you have loved is given over unto ungodly nations and why the law the commandments of our fathers is brought to nothing useless and the written covenants come to none effect why are they leaving why are they come to no effect or nowhere and we pass away out of the world as grasshoppers, and our life is astonishment and fear, and we are not worthy to obtain mercy. What will he then do unto his name, whereby we are called? Of these things have I asked. Then answered he me and said, The more you searchest, the more you shall wonder. I'll be surprised, for the world hasteneth. That means runs, it speeds fast to pass away. See? <laughs> it cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in the time to come in the future. For this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities, defects. But as concerning the things whereof you ask me, I will tell you. For the evil is worked, but the destruction is of evil is not yet come Israel if therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away then cannot it come that is sown with good for the grain of evil seed children have been sown in the mind or in the heart of Adam from the beginning and how much ungodliness have it brought up unto this time how much shall it yet bring out in the future until the time of threshing come, of beating come? Ponder, think now by yourself how great fruit of wickedness the grain of evil seed children have brought out. And when the ears shall be cut down, all right, which are without number, it's going to be many. Hell has enlarged itself. How great a floor shall they fill? Then I answered and said, How and when shall these things come to pass? Wherefore, why is it are our years few and evil? And he answered me, saying, Do not you hurry, don't you uh, speed above the most high, the, the most highest. Um, don't be quick, or don't be trying to surpass, go above the most high. For your speed is in vain it's useless to be above him for you have much exceeded you have gone past 
Did not the souls also of the righteous ask questions of these things in their rooms, chambers, saying, How long will I hope on this way? When cometh the fruit of the floor of our reward? When are we going to get our reward? And unto these things Uriel the archangel gave them answer and said, Even when a number of seeds is filled in you, for he hath weighed the world in the balance. By measure have he measured the times, and by number hath he numbered the times, and he doeth not move nor stir them until the said measure be complete, fulfilled. All right. So then answered Ezra and said, O master that beareth rule, even we all are full of impiety, and for our sakes, preadventure, it is that the floors of the righteous are not complete because of the sins of them that live upon the earth. So he answered me and said, Go, Ezra, your way to a woman with child, and ask her when she hath fulfilled her nine months, if her womb may keep the birth any longer with inside of her. Then said I, No, Lord, that can she not do. And he said unto me, In the grave, the chambers, the rooms of souls, are like the womb of a woman. For like as a woman that laboreth, make haste, she's uh, fast or in a hurry to escape the necessity, the pain of the labor. Even so do these places uh, speed or are in a hurry to deliver. That means to give up those things that are committed unto them. From the beginning, look what you desire to see. It shall be showed you, Ezra. Then answered I and said, if I have found favor in your eyes, and if it be possible, and if I be right, therefore, show me then whether there be more to come than is past, or more past than is to come. Is there more um, already happened, or is there more future? Right? How much time do we have? That's what Ezra's asking, right? Remember, um, the time has to be cut short, right? Or no, no flesh will live. So, uh, and Satan, he, Hasatan, he knows that his days are cut short. His time is short. All right. Okay. What is past, I know, says Ezra, but what is for to come, which is the future, I know not. And he said unto me, stand up upon the right side, and I shall expound the summitude, the parable unto you. I shall explain the story unto you. So I stood and saw, and I beheld, and hot, he saw a hot burning oven pass by before Ezra. And it happened that when the flame was gone by, Ezra looked and saw the smoke remain still. There was still smoke. After this, there passed before me a watery cloud and sent down much rain with the storm. And when the storm rain was passed, the drops remained still. Then said he unto me, consider with yourself as the rain is more than the drops and as the fire is greater than the smoke still the drops and the smoke remain they last behind they left behind so the quantity or the size which is past did more exceed the past was much more than the ancient time a lot has passed and there's still prophecy to be fulfilled and time is short. That's what I'm letting you know. It says, Then I prayed and said, May I live? Thinkest thou? You think I sh will be able to live until that time? Obviously, we know that. But what will happen in those days, in that age? 
He answered me and said, As for the tokens, whereof you ask me, I may tell you of them in part. He said, so let me go back. It says, then I prayed and said, may I live, thinkest you, until that time? Who will be manuscript? Who will write it down? Or what shall happen in those days? He answered me and said, as for the tokens, whereof, the manuscripts of it, you ask me, I may tell you of them in part. Here and there, here a little, there a little. But as touching your life, I am not sent to show you, for I do not know it. All right. So the time is going to be short, and it is short. A lot of things already have passed. All right. There's a few things left. All right. The signs of the times to come. Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens or manuscripts, or behold, the day shall come that they which dwell on the earth, upon the earth, shall be taken in great number, shall be found with great wealth, or taken with great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden. The way of truth will be hard to find and the land shall be barren the land will be barren that means empty of faith a famine of faith all right belief trust in the most high but iniquity sin shall be increased above that which now you see us all right he says still sin will be increased will grow above that which now you behold, Ezra, that you see now, or that you have heard long ago in ancient times. All right. So it says, and the land that you see of now to have root shall you see wasted suddenly and be utterly destroyed. But if the Most High grant you to live, you shall see after the third trumpet that the sun shall suddenly shine again in the night and the moon three times in the day. All right. And blood shall drop out of wood and the stone shall give his voice and the people shall be troubled. And in he shall rule whom they look not for that live upon the earth and the fowl shall take their flight away together and the side of the sea shall cast out fish and make a noise in the night which many have not known or heard but they shall all hear the voice of the sea there shall be confusion also in many places and the fire shall uh, often uh, be sent, called, or slacked out again. And the wild beasts shall change their places, and mistress women, evil women, shall bring out monsters, evil children. All right. And different type of monsters because their DNA will be changed. And salt water shall be found in the sweet. And all friends shall destroy one another, then shall wit hit hide itself, wisdom hide itself, and understanding leave itself, or uh, I'm sorry, remove itself into his secret room, chamber, and shall, and shall be sought of many, all right, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge are going to be sought, looked after, uh, by many and yet not be found the way is going to be hard to be found then shall unrighteousness and incontinence be increased upon the earth one sh one land also shall ask another and say is righteousness that maketh a man righteous gone through you and it shall say no 
at the same time shall man hope but nothing be obtained receive they shall work labor but their ways will not uh, prosper be successful the ways is going to be rejected it says to show you to show you these such tokens i have leave if you will pray again and weep as now and fast seven days you shall hear even greater things all right So we need to be fasting, we need to be crying, we need to be in prayer, even for us in these times to be shown greater things. All right. Um, now. something else that I wanted to get um, wow. um, something else I wanted to get but anyway it says here it says and he said unto me I will liken my judgment unto a ring like as there is no slackness of the end, even so there is no swiftness of the beginning, the first. So I answered and said, Couldest you not make those that have been made and be now, and that are for to come in the future at once, that you might have show your judgment even sooner? Then answered he me and said, The creature may not run or speed above, ahead of the maker, the creator, and either may the world hold them at once, all the people at once that shall be created inside the earth. And I said, as you have said unto your servant, that you which giveth life to all has given life at once to the cre to the creature, and that you have created and the creature bear it, even so it might now also bear them that now be present at once. And he said unto me, Ask the womb of a woman, and say unto her, If you bringeth out children, why do if you it not all together, but one after another? Nine, nine months, right? Pray her, therefore, to bring out ten children at once. And I said, She cannot, but must do it by distance of time, nine months. Then said he unto me, Even so have I given the womb of the earth to those that be sown in it, the earth, in their times for like as a young child may not bring out the things that belong to the age even so have i disposed the world disposed the world which i created all right then i asked and said seeing you have now given me the way i will proceed to speak before you for my mother of whom you have told me that she is young draweth now near unto age she's almost old the earth and he answered me and said ask a woman that bear of children and she shall tell you say unto her wherefore are not thy thy whom you have now brought out like those that were before but less of less of stature less of size and she shall answer you they that be born in the strength of youth are of one fashion of one way and they that are born in the time of age you know being a little older when the womb faileth are otherwise not as strong consider you therefore also how that ye are less of stature size than those that were before you and so are they that come after you less than ye as the creatures which now began to be old and have passed over the strength of youth. Then said I, Lord, I ask you, if I found favor in your eye, show us your servant by whom you visit your creature. All right. So the, the earth is old. All right. It's aged now. 
All right. And so the time has been cut short. All right. And uh, that's just something that you should understand. And uh, so it's kind of like basketball, you know. Uh, I was born in the 90s, right? But I mean, in the 80s, 86, but 90s, you had Jordan and them and all that, and they were strong. You had uh, the big power fours that were strong. And now, uh, the 2000s, you see it over the time, it changed. They played stronger defense, they hit people harder, take fouls, and all that. Now, they barely get a scratch and they can't play 82 games. So, you can see it through the people that um, the people are weaker. Our grandparents and all of that, they were stronger. Now the young children are weaker. The earth is getting weaker too. Well, it's old now, right? If I said that correctly, all right. Hmm. Hopefully, I, I explain that pretty good. So yeah, the time is cut short. And there be many created, but few shall be saved. And many called, few chosen. Matthew 20, 16, right? Yeah. So, um, jumping ahead. Ezra comforts the woman in the field, right? And which is Israel. And we need some comforting because we're going through a lot. We're going to go through much more. And uh, it says, you foolish woman above all others. See if you not are mourning. You don't see what's going on with us and what happening to us. How that Zion, our mother, is full of heaviness and much humbled uh Mourning very sore. She's mourning very sore. And now seeing we all mourn and are all sad, for we are all in heaviness. Are you grieved for one son? For ask the earth, and she will tell you that it is she which ought to cry for the fall of so many that grow upon her. For out of her came all the all at the first and out of her shall all others come in the future and behold they walk almost all into destruction hell and a multitude of them is utterly abolished rooted out by VAX um, by food by sin by not following law statute commandments and then it says, who then should make more mourning than she that have lost so great a multitude, a crowd, um, many, and not you which are sorry but for one child. And it says, Ezra said, but if you says unto me, my cries is not like the earth because I have lost the fruit of my womb which I brought out with pains, with labor, and bear with sorrows. But the earth, not so, for the multitude currently in it, according to the course of the earth, is gone as it came. Then say I unto you, like as you have brought out with labor, pain, even so the earth also have given her fruit, namely men and women, ever since the beginning, Genesis unto him that made her the most high 
Now, therefore, keep your sorrow to yourself and bear, keep with a good mind, courage, be brave. That which have befallen you, Israel, for if you shall acknowledge the determination of the Most High to be righteous, because he's going to raise us back from the dead, you shall both receive your son in time, Israel, and your daughters in time, and shall be commended, praised amongst women. Go your way then into the city to thine husband. All right. Well, that was just something I shared. Cut the short story short. Um, the lady was complaining about her only son. Well, what about the Most High's only son? What about the earth losing all these multitudes of people? Because they're following the the following after sin, following after other gods, uh, breaking the Most High's commandments. So hell has enlarged itself because it was made for the fallen angels and the demons. But now it's enlarged itself, right? So um, right now the hand. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. And we got to hold fast to that which is good. That is the scripture, the Bible. We got to hold on to the word, Christ, and, and the Most High. All right. Chapter 9. He answered me then and said, measure you the time diligently in itself. And when you see as part of the signs past, which I have told you before, then you shall understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he created. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall you well understand that the Most High spake of these things from the days that were before you, the ancient times, even from the beginning. For like as all that is created in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end will be manifest. You will get the revelation. Even so, the times also of the highest, the most high, have plain beginnings in wonders, miracles, and powerful works, actions, and endings in effects and signs, miracles. And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works, his deeds, and by faith. Faith without works is dead. His works and what he believes. And you have to believe in the Most High, his Son, and you have to have the Ruach be baptized. All right. It says, everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed and shall be preserved. You're going to be saved from the said pearls, the said danger, and shall see my salvation in my land, within my 